Tonight, the state handing out no water as we head into 2022. A sign of the climate the state of California really is in heading in to the third year in a row of a water crisis. Thanks for staying with us here at 530. I'm Tony Lopez and I'm Adrian Moore. Our news is also streaming live on CBSN Sacramento. So could you be asked to cut back even further? CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live in Sacramento getting answers tonight. Marissa. Well, guys, the state says mandatory cutbacks could be coming back and soon after voluntary restrictions made little impact, and that means potentially keeping your lawns dry as we head into the new year. Now that the state is saving water as the drought and dry conditions stick around for yet another year. I've been in California for a long time. I know this is, what, third year of drought? Payson Hall in Sacramento is not surprised he and his neighbors may be asked to cut back on water once again. Living in the valley, we know we get our water from the Sierras and just a couple of degrees of warming, we don't get as much snow. There are dozens of water districts that get water supplies from the state, but the record low allocation is 0% heading into 2022, revealed by the Department of Water Resources earlier than ever before. It represents how much the state can give based on available supplies. The state as a whole has very very diminished reservoir levels. Jay Lund, an environmental expert with UC Davis, says just look north. Here are the historically low lake levels in our area. Lake Oroville, the largest reservoir in the state water project, is at 30% capacity. That's about half of where it normally is this time of year. And the news from DWR means farmers like Fritz Durst, a rice farmer, is up against a big climb this year. Unless there's significant rainfall, it's looking like we will have very little water available to us next year. It's rare for water districts to get all or nothing. And in a time when many are already asked to conserve water, now local districts will be asked to cut back even more. I would expect to see more restrictions on lawn watering if, this, if conditions stay as dry as they are now. But neighbors like Payson say they're ready. I'm hoping people are still doing the stuff that we've been doing for the last couple of years. If it helps to keep the Sierra white and the lakes full. We're all in this together. It's kind of like the pandemic. Well, seven districts that requested it will get a small amount of water. Plumas County Flood Control and Water Conservation District, Solano County Water Agency, and Yuba City contract with the state for at least some of their water. The state also has the Central Valley Water Project, which is federally run, but it hasn't announced its projected water allocation heading into next year just yet. Something we'll be watching very closely.